As we continue our journey with the Israelites, God's people in the Exodus, um, moving from the slavery of Egypt into the freedom and the calling, God's provision and promise of the promised land, um, we come to Red Sea rule number three, how important it is to acknowledge our hardships and simultaneously keep our eyes on the Lord, the tension that we live in in this life, recognizing and being very honest that there are hard times, there are difficult seasons, and how important it is for us as Christians not fall into the trap of thinking that it's our responsibility or expectation that we're just okay no matter what because God's always with us, because we trust God no matter what. All of those things can be true and we can still go through some really difficult seasons of life. There are times we don't understand the situation or circumstance we find ourselves in, the hardships we're facing. We may know God is with us. We may trust that God will redeem our circumstance, but we don't know what God's up to, and we go through hurt and heartache, pain, discomfort, and disease. And so um, as we continue today to think about Red Sea rule number three and what it means to acknowledge our hardship and keep our eyes on the Lord at the same time, I want you to imagine that you're going on a trip. Let's let's imagine uh, we're going on a camping trip. And what would we do? There would certainly be things that we could uh, pack to have along with us to make our camping trip better. Uh, we would want a tent, right? a shelter of some kind to keep us dry. We would want appropriate clothing. If we were going into the mountains in November or October, we would want some uh, clothes that will keep us warm. If we were going uh, down towards the beach in the summer, we'd want some uh, warm weather clothing, swimsuits, things like that. The, having the appropriate things packed, um, food, water, all of these things would make our trip so much more enjoyable. Now, let me uh, add a little uh, caveat to this trip. Let's imagine that you have a camping trip planned for a week and you look at the forecast and you see that one day out of that week, there's going to be a, a thunderstorm and um, your plans for the day you anticipate are going to be washed out. Maybe you even go and you realize that uh, Thursday is going to be a washout. It's rainy. Let me ask you this. Would you forsake the entire trip because there's a portion of it that has some uh, undesirable situations and circumstance? Uh, probably not. Hopefully not. Hopefully you'd be inspired and be able to say, hey, you know what? If we're going for a week and only one day of bad weather, that's that's worth it. And I think it's a, a helpful metaphor for us to kind of frame our understanding. There, There's a portion of our life that's hard. I, I pray it's not the majority of your life, um, but there is a portion of our life that is very challenging. Um, it, and then those challenges on that particular day, those storms that arrive uh, on that portion of your life might be heavy, they might be intense, uh, they might be significant. And one of the things we recognize in Red Sea rule number three is there's nothing that we can do to just eliminate all of those storms that come, but there are some things we can do to prepare for them. Um, if you look at the forecast in advance, what extra things are you going to pack? Uh, a poncho, uh, towels. I, I don't know. I'm not much of a camper, uh, even if there's it's wonderful weather. So uh, not being much of a camper, I, I can think of this metaphor, but I don't know exactly how it would all play out and what it would look like um, if we were packing extra for um, stormy weather and difficult seasons. But if you are thinking about this scenario and you think about knowing there's a storm coming, uh, what you would pack to prepare for it, that's really what I think is at the heart of Hebrews 12. Uh, we recognize that because we are the people of God does not mean we will go through life without the storms, without the hardships. Uh, but Hebrews 12 is telling us some things that we can pack in our life. I, I hope it's, it's a small portion of your life that faces the stormy challenges and the hardships. Uh, but Hebrews 12 is reminding us, hey, there's some things that you can pack uh, as you prepare uh, to go through life that can help you navigate those in a faithful way, that can help you keep your eyes on the Lord as you're going through the storms of life. 
I pray that this reminder is a blessing for you and your life and for your small group as you gather and discuss what it means to work out and live out Red Sea Rule number three. Acknowledge your hardships, recognize the storms, but keep your eyes on the Lord. What are the things we can do to prepare to navigate those storms in a faithful and God-honoring way? God bless you.